Hi everyone. In this video I want to do a short review of the Xiaomi Yi remote control. I ordered it together with the original monopod and it comes in a box similar to the one of the camera. Now let's take a look at how to pair camera and remote control. When you take a look at the light above the mode switching button, it will light up red when it's not connected and it will change to blue when we pair them. First you have to double click the Wi-Fi button on your camera. Then press the mode switch button on the remote and the blue light will flash. When I press the mode switch button again, you will see the blue light on the remote and when you take a look at the camera, you can see the three status LEDs lit up when in video mode and they go off when I switch to photo mode. Now back to video mode and the status LEDs are lit up. Now when I press the record button, you will see the power LED flashing as the camera is recording. Once the remote is paired, you don't have to click the Wi-Fi button as the remote is immediately connected with the camera. So when I turn on the camera, I just have to wait for it to start up. I have not selected Auto Wi-Fi by the way. It takes a little time for the camera to start up, even after the power LED stopped flashing. When I press the record button, you can see the red LED which shows that the camera and remote are not connected. But when I repeatedly press it, you can see that it turns blue after a while and the camera and remote are connected. In the app settings of the camera, you will find Unbind all Bluetooth devices. There you can unpair them if you want to. The remote control also works when you have connected your phone and your camera. When I switch modes, you will see that the app switches modes as well and you can see that the camera starts recording when I push the trigger button. Now let's take a look at the remote itself. It fits very well on the monopod. When you open the flap above the remote, you can pull it out. The remote is placed in a rubber case, which has two holes on the back side, so you can also mount it on a strap. Now let's take it out of the case. On the back side, you will find the door for the battery. The remote needs a 3 volt CR1632 battery, which was included. Well, not much more to say about this device. I would have preferred a smart remote with a data display like the one for the GoPro. You basically can only change from photo to video mode and not the resolutions which you have to define in the app. And you've got the trigger or record button which comes in handy when you don't have access to your camera, for example when doing a selfie, so you don't have to switch on your phone all the time. Let's take a quick look at the monopod. It has a superb quality and a very good locking mechanism and it is easy to extend and push it together. One short remark, the top looks like a ball head, but you can just tilt the head. Well, it might not be important as you can rotate the stick anyway. What I also like about the monopod is the quarter inch thread at the bottom where the strap is mounted. You can screw the monopod on other photo gear or use the strap directly on your camera. I hope you like this short review, if you do so, please subscribe to my channel. More reviews and tutorials are coming up. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. If you are looking for more information on the Xiaomi Yi camera, take a look at the video description or visit my blog. Thanks for watching and see you soon.